this video, I'm going to take you through the steps that I used to build an e-commerce website using Elementor and WordPress, a website that looks exactly like this one. When you look at this particular website, it is looking so seamless, beautiful. It's an e-commerce for a clothing store. You can use it for other things, by the way, not only clothing, but any other um, shop that you would like to put it on. And I'm going to take you through exactly the steps that you're going to also follow to build such a beautiful site. So join me till the end of the video. It's going to be short, I promise you. This video is going to be short that you will not even wish to miss it. Uh, we're starting by just going to your WordPress dashboard. I'm going to install um, the theme. I'm going to go to the themes section. So the theme that I'm going to use is called Hello Elementor. I'm trying to rush this video so that you can all learn within the shortest period of time. This theme is going to enable me to build using Elementor. So I, it's automatically telling me to install Elementor as the plugin. So Elementor is here. We are going to install it. We usually come to sites uh, called um, code list so that you can get plugins, premium plugins. We do it for test purposes. So you go to code list. Here you get all premium uh, plugins and themes that you want. You can use it. For example, here I'm going to get Elementor Pro. Just when you select it, you're going to take you to this link. Kraken files, you take that link, copy it, and then download the file from here. So it will be Elementor Pro version 3 point something. Uh, this, is the, this, is the, this is the Elementor Pro, so I'll just double click it to extract it. And then I'm going to open it. And then you see Elementor Pro here. So I will then do that thing called compressing. So I'll come here and then I'm coming to plugins, install plugin, and then I will go to add plugin. So come here, install plugin, and then just click choose file. And then here you're going to go to downloads, and then you're going to go to Elementor, Elementor, Elementor Pro. So we have it there, then just do install. And as it's, it's continuing doing that, I'm going to come here and download this template kit. So I'll download it as, and then I know it will already, it will take me to this extraction area. So it's already here. But as usual, template kits, we usually don't get them here. We, when you're using a Mac, you get the one that is already in the bin. That is the original one, okay? Don't use the one that is already extracted on your downloads folder. So after you're doing that, activate this plugin. I'm activating the plugin. And then we see, we see where we, where we are. It's already activated. So then I'm going to go to Elementor settings. Yeah, the process we did before. Here I'm going to tick these two and then I'll do the save changes. Then I can now come and then install the template kits. So what we mean when we want to install template kits, remember that this dashboard, we have everything is empty. When you look at posts, empty, pages, empty categories, everything is empty. So we are working from a fresh startup point, right? We come to Elementor templates, and then you go to template kit, kit library, kit library. That's what we want to do. We want to install the template kits, right? So after clicking that, you will come and select this import kit. And then when you select it, it will bring you to this particular folder. So what you want is the, 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 the original file from the bin, that's the one you're going to drag it over here. So drag it and then yeah, just click continue and then allow it to proceed with importation of the, the template kits. So it's done installing, so we're going to continue by closing that and then move to now working with the template. So what do we do? The first thing is that how do you know that it's actually done? Let's just visit the site and then see how it looks like. So the site looks, yeah, it looks somehow, yeah, there's something new that is there anyway. So let's continue. We have to now go to the templates um, and then we go to theme builder. We want to do the branding part of it. We want to make the header and the, the, the footer. So when you look here, we have already the header is there. So select edit. Now that's already open, you have to just find something because before Elementor, those uh, changes were down here, but now with the latest version, those settings are up here. You see publish before, a publish was down here, now publish is up here. So just here there is an arrow where it shows you display conditions. So select that conditions and then add condition entire site and then save and close. So after you do that, it's going to be done. 
then select this one and then um, exit to WordPress. So we have that one, which is uh, the header. I believe the header is already done. When you're, you see, it's already taking effect. Now we have to work with the footer. Go to the theme builder again, and then go to footer, okay? So footer, we have it here. Just select edit, and then after that, when it's loaded, go down here. You see, this is the footer. You see, every information is here. We have that. So what do you do? Publish, because already published. So it's just not having that condition to be visible on the entire site. So what do you do? You select this one and then go this drop down arrow and then go to this display condition, select it, add condition, entire site, save and close. After you do that, come back to this Elementor. What do you do? Exit to WordPress. Now you have the footer and the header. What do you do? Let's just see that it's already taking effect. You see you have the header up here and then you have the footer. So what do we have over here? Let's look have different home pages, right? So what do you do? You have to come and see we have home. I, I like home three, I like about, I like shop, I like pages, no, we don't want pages. So what do we do? Because it is a shopping site, we don't need too much corporate information. What do we need is the products that we are selling, right? If it is services, the stock that you're, that you're selling, that's what is important. And then a brief about section and contact section so that people can be able to know that you actually company or a business that is already established by the laws of your company. So what do you do? You come to the home, you have the about, and then you have the shop. Shop, you have different pages. You can choose from whichever you want. Go back here and then come to pages. And then because we have no page at all, but they are in the template kits. So we've already selected pages. Just add new page. Then you say home. Name it home. Don't say, just name it home. <laughs> I've been saying everything. Say, say. And then on this right section, template, default template, make it Elementor full with, and then do this one. Uh, uh, publish it, and then go to edit with Elementor. It will load to that Elementor dashboard so you can be able to select this folder, go to my template section, and then because we liked this home three, I did not see home four, you can go and check that thing. The theme is actually from Envato Elements, i sorry I did not tell you that, but it's on element, Envato Elements. You can get any other theme template kit from there. So we come here and then go to Home 3, insert that particular template kit, right? So template, I mean, and then after you do that, it is going to load and it is showing you it's very, very nice, right? You like it, what do you do? You come to this particular section, which is Publish. And then I can be able to now exit to WordPress, right? We have that page. The other page we want is about us. So it is about. So next we have to template, key template, Elementor, full width, and then publish it. And then go to this one, which we call edit with Elementor. So it's going to be edit with Elementor. Go to this folder, the second one here, right? Um, my templates and then go to something called About Us. Insert that, so I'll show you, but we have to publish it first. Uh, okay, so after publishing, exit, exit, not exit, exit. Then the last one is Shop. So um, I'm, I'm assuming Shop is something different. Okay, let's just add that one. The last one is called Shop. The Shop is going to be um, the same settings, full width, publish, and then edit with Elementor, right? When you do that, you're going to now come to this folder over here, and then that section is my template, and then just pick one shop. So shop page one, shop, shop page two, I think, let's see, shop page one, how does it look like? I think uh, it looks nice. So let's take that shop page one. Of course, you can take your time to choose the one that you want, but for me, I'm going to go for the sake of time to show you how you should do it just so you can get that courage to do actually what you're supposed to be doing right so after you do that what do you do next uh, publish it right so i've already published it and then you go up here the top left and then exit to wordpress okay and then down here we're going to look for something called menu and then you're going to create a menu so that you can be able to do that and then i will add our own 
menu, which is this one. So this one goes first, then followed by that, then followed by that, okay. It should be at the header section, and then we just do that. So when you look at the site, it's going to, when you reload it, you still don't see anything. Nothing is clickable, right? So this is where we go to that customize section, which is here. Select customize, and then home page settings, static, then select home. And then we don't have that blog, so that's it. You see, the site is already complete. You already have, almost everything is there. So what is missing up here is the menu is still not visible here, right? So what do you do? When you go back to the dashboard over here, and then you go to templates, theme builder, and then you go to that header, which is via, and then you edit it, and then you check what is supposed to be here. From this one, you're supposed to have the menu here, right? But ours doesn't have that menu. So now we're clicking it to see what's actually happening. We have uh, this section here, which is actually supposed to be giving us the menu. So I'll try to just add it there. By selecting this, then adding it. Yeah, it's here, so you see, but the, there's, a, there's, a, there's an issue with the colors, so I think that's not the one that we're supposed to be having. Now we've already added the menu here, you can see it's already here. But when you compare it with the one that is here, the colors are different, right? The styling is different, so what do you do? Because we already added it, so we just go to the styling section, and then we change uh, the styling for that menu to something that is a, a little bit, you see now it's a bit visible, but you want to change the color. So you change the text in the style section. So the main menu, the text is already typography, I mean. So the text color is what we want to change. So we are making it visible like this. But also we want when it's being hovered, when you move your cursor up here, we want the text color to be able to change. So for example, like this. So we have it which is now very active. Now when you publish, you can be able now to see that your website has good uh, whatever menu. But it's still not uh, in the best position. So you want it centered, you want it, I think centered is okay. So that's because it's only three items. Otherwise, if it was more, you could have already done it. Okay. So when it's centered, you can be able to see home, about, shop, right? And then whatever products you have, you know, the, the categories of products, casuals, whatever, it's there, okay? This particular website is already done, right? In terms of the design, the design part of it is done. So we have the framework is already with, with all the categories, as you can see from the homepage, you can see that um, men's collection, women collection, and then people can now choose casual shirts. Now what is missing is what we call the products themselves, right? And for you to do that, you need to install a plugin called WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce is a WordPress plugin that helps you set up a store online so that you can be able to sell the product that you're having and people can be able to buy. So this plugin is a premium one and you're going to set a separate tutorial for that so that you can be able to navigate on how to actually add those products on your e-commerce site. See you in the next video.